Hey people, welcome back to the channel. Another video, and today guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can increase your battery life on your Galaxy device, whether that be a Galaxy S21, S20, whatever is on One UI 4.0. So I'm gonna be recording on my screen and probably put it up next to me just so you guys can see what I'm actually doing on here. Some of these tips, in my opinion, I'm not a big fan of like, overloading overloading battery saving in terms of like ruining your overall device's performance basically slowing the whole thing down making the whole thing black and white basically crippling your device in order to save battery because there's no point in that like i want to use my device like normal and get more battery life out of it so that's some of these tips here are going to like help you with that obviously but before we get into those tips make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing mobile tech content coming in the future and let's hop right into it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be hopping into settings here. And the first thing I want to go into is data roaming. Now, probably you, you guys haven't heard about this too much in terms of like watching battery saving tips. But if you go into like One UI 4.0 and you go into like mobile networks and then you go into roaming under more connection settings, no. Yep, so you go into mobile networks, and then there's this tab here that says data roaming access. Make sure to turn that off. It's gonna be constantly searching and roaming, and that's gonna overall eat up some of your battery life. So just turn that off, and, and honestly, as in my opinion, it hasn't really affected my connectivity at all. So do that. Next on this list, we're gonna be fiddling with display uh, number one, just turn on dark mode, turn on dark mode. I mean, like I love dark mode. I think it looks better than the overall light mode. Uh, it's personal preference, but, and if you're not like a huge fan, you don't want it on all the time you can go into dark mode settings and you can actually schedule it. So maybe at night, turn it on early in the morning, turn it on and have it on light mode the other times. But if you have dark mode on basically with an OLED display, how this works is each pixel is powered individually, unlike an LCD. Helps with contrast ratios and brightness and that sort of thing. And what you can do is basically turning on dark mode, making everything darker, turns off a lot of those pixels completely. And since you're not powering as many pixels, that's not going to eat up as much of your battery life. So that's just a brief background there. Another thing is obviously lower your brightness. Brightness, as I mentioned, like powering the display eats like, like the majority of what your battery is powering. So turn down your brightness. That's a given. Um, and then turn adaptive brightness off. So adaptive brightness obviously is going to be requiring some background processing, identifying your current environment, identif like looking at your current brightness settings and seeing is that bright enough for your current like environment you're in. That's going to eat up some battery power. So just turn that off and then adjust the brightness manually and lower is always better. Next is going to be motion smoothness. This is like a major feature on the S21 and other up-to-date phones, iPhone 13 Pro and a lot of other Androids, like the Google Pixel 6. Motion smoothness is great. I love the look of it. I think it's super awesome. But if you're trying to conserve battery life, you want, you're gonna wanna turn this one off and turn it to 60 hertz. I will say, as good as 120 hertz is, and this is an LT, LPTPO, I don't know what the exact language is, I'll probably put it up in post editing, but, how this technology works in the S21 is the f refresh rate can actually like vary. So it can go up to 120 hertz, but I believe it can drop to 48 on the S21. And I think on the S21 Ultra it can drop even further down to like 10 or something. So that helps with battery life especially. But as soon as it's cranked up to the 120 hertz, it's going to eat up more of your, more of your battery. So that's when you, why you're going to want to select standard right here. I'm not going to do it right now, but select standard it's going to drop it to a constant 60 frames per second and that's going to conserve you battery life and if you're getting value of this video so far make sure to smash that like button ladies and gentlemen um, another thing which you don't see too many tech reviewers talk about is just screen timeout of uh, sometimes we forget that we are looking at our phones so take your phone if you're not using it have it just have the screen just turn off so the battery is not going to have to be powering that display uh, so that's a that's a quick tip uh pretty useful in my opinion just set it to 15 seconds the lowest one 
And if you don't care about this and you don't want your screen to time out, you can turn it up to like a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. And there's also another setting here that if you're looking at your screen, you can also keep it on. So what you could do is turn it down to 15 seconds, but also turn that other setting on that keeps it like on and like your screen's available while you're looking at it. Cause that's the most important part, right? And that is going to be it for display stuff. You can also turn on eye comfort shield. That doesn't really have a big impact on battery life. However, um, next we're going to go down into like actual battery settings, battery and device care. Always make sure this is optimized and good. So just click optimize, go into battery here. And then obviously you don't have to like watch a video on YouTube on how to conserve battery life. You could just turn on power saving mode, but that's going to impact your performance of your device. And I'm not a big fan of it, but you can customize it to how you want. So what you could do is is like turn it on, but then also configure it and you can tweak it to how you want it. So what you can do is you can turn off the always on display, limit the CPU speed to 70%. You could keep that on if you don't want to hit the uh, damage like the performance of your device. And then you can also decrease brightness. Um, so turn that on if you want. You don't have to watch this video though in order to know what power saving mode is. Background usage limits. This is another huge thing. If you want to put your apps to sleep, Instead of having your phone constantly like running them in the background, even if you're not using them, it'll still take up some processing power to run these apps in the background. Put some apps to sleep that you rarely use, and it'll help you with battery life. So you can just put them to sleep, and your phone will just keep them off and not have to worry about them. Under more battery settings, you can turn adaptive battery on. I highly recommend that so it gets used it uses AI to get used to your sort of like battery usage and it'll optimize that processing speed. This is another one. Make sure you have this on optimized. So it's a balance between efficiency and also battery life. Um, I would not recommend turning this on maximum cause that's going to eat up your battery life. And then at the bottom here, I'd recommend turning on protective battery. I've had this on for a little bit and it's been super useful for me. Uh, what this will do is it'll cap your, battery charge to 85 percent so it won't allow it to charge any more than that that last 15 percent i believe takes the longest to fully charge up your device and i think that's mostly true in my usage for the most part so by not allowing it to do that it's going to help preserve your battery in the long run so you may not get as long a battery life because you're only 85 percent max you're not up to that hundred but I think it's a valuable trade-off because in the future, your phone's going to be lasting a lot longer um, in terms of your battery health. So I'd keep that on. Honestly, 85% for the S21, it still lasts me throughout the day. And that's about it for overall tips from me. There are a couple bonus ones I have in here. Obviously, like, don't put your device through the ringer in terms of, like, I don't know, the environment, like <laughs> if you're in a really hot environment, it's probably going to damage your battery. And then if you're in a really cold environment, it's probably going to damage your battery. But um, there's another thing you can do in terms of brightness. You can go here and turn on extra dim. So this will lower your brightness even more if you're interested in that. And obviously making your device even more dim, it's not going to eat up as much battery health. And, and software updates can and can actually not help you. Uh, sometimes updating to the latest software can improve battery health. I've talked about this before, but it also can hurt it if it takes more processing power to actually run the new software. Just keep that in mind. One UI 4 has been pretty solid for the most part, so I wouldn't worry too much about updating to One UI 4 um, because they have introduced some of these new features like the extra dim and like the capping out at 85% um, features on this device. But I'm going to stop recording now and that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoyed some of these tips like subscribe hit that notification bell um, a lot of you guys aren't actually don't have notifications on so please hit that notification bell down this way i believe uh, so you get notified exactly when my videos go live uh, road to a thousand subscribers thank you guys and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video with some awesome mobile content peace out